me, your president, John George. I'm here today to address the many false claims that have been made against me and my supporters. Now, for the first allegation, did I steal a penny from TV Bank? No. I can assure you, the security cam footage showing a man stealing that pen is not me, or was a deep fake. Either way, everyone should know by now that TD has an amazing policy of allowing all customers to use all pens available. TD, it's in your wallet. Anyways, next, did I steal candy from that infant? No, of course not. You can clearly see that it was an unidentified man stealing that candy. Now, uh, did I order him and 30 others to do so? Yes. Uh, were they screaming, John George was robbed of that candy? Ah, uh, my name is Michael Smith. I live on 55 Hallway Avenue, and I was ordered to do this by John George. Yes, he did say that. But it's important to know that that candy was stolen from me at a very competitive carnival ride, where you could clearly see that I was winning that stuffed animal hugging contest by a lot. But I digress. These claims by my opposition are a threat to this nation's unity, okay? Anyways, for my last claim, was I kicked out of McDonald's ball pit for inciting a fascist mob to raid the Capitol building? I don't know, okay? Please stop bringing it up. It's a threat to our unity, okay? This has been your president, John George. John George. Out of prison 2054. Good morning and welcome to the Daily Panther. Today is Friday, January 15th, 2021. The letter day is a BDF. Your host today is Dan and me, Caden. Announcements. Happy long weekend birthdays. Nicholas Morrowind, William Scafaris, and Burtis Amarala. Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Our school will be closed. No remote classes that day. Monday will be the 35th anniversary of the federal holiday in honor of Reverend Martin Luther King's birthday. The holiday was signed into law 1983. The first observation was in 1986. And it has a deserving tribute to the King for advancing civil rights and social justice through nonviolent protests. He was only the second birthday designated as a federal holiday after the observance of George Washington's birthday. The making of their respective holidays reveals the unresolved tensions between independence and freedom in the United States. On Tuesday, during activity period, there will be a live Gender and Sexuality Alliance Interest Meeting in the cafeteria. If you are an M through Z student and you want to attend, you will need to stop at, in at the main office for health screening. Some future meetings will also be offered virtually for fully remote students. The PHS GSA is a club that celebrates the amazing individuality at PHS while providing a welcoming and comfortable space for the LGBTQ plus community, students and alliance and allies to share thoughts, feelings and ideas. To be added to the GSA remind, please text F. 66K 
nine six with an at at the beginning. If, you, if that makes sense. Two eight one zero one zero. Or you can talk to Miss Winston or Flatley for more info about the GSA. Plays for Progress is live streaming the play Hard Candy tonight at 7 p.m. See details in the description below. Join the PHS Ultimate Frisbee Club. Text at G9CFDB2 to 81010 to join the PHS Ultimate Frisbee Club Remind. Are you interested in becoming a sports broadcaster? Join the virtual sports broadcasting camp this summer for a week in July. For more information, go to Bruce Beck Sports Broadcasting Camp.com. Daily Panther quote of the day. Many of life's failures are people who didn't know how to close when they were succeeding, when they, were give, when they gave up. Daily Panther fun fact. Nerf stands for non-expanding recreational foam. Nerf or it's nothing. It's Nerf or nothing. Thank you for watching Daily Panther. Have an awesome day and stay safe.